Hi, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendelin, and we've been RVing for nine years. And nine, ten years ago, we bought a used Class B and started a blog. And lo and behold, it took off. People started to read it, and then we went to YouTube, and then we started the podcast. And we now have like about 750,000 people in our community that follow us. And this is our pro tips for managing your RV power needs. The first one is the inverter. So many RVers think that they have to turn the inverter on and leave that on all the time as they RV. And actually, the inverter in and of itself is usually one of the biggest power drains you can have on your RV coach batteries. So our tip is to turn the inverter off unless you need it, unless you actually have to run uh, a 110 volt uh, appliance from it, like your microwave or maybe a hair dryer. <laughs> uh, now, you still have to have some power to run the lights, right? Well, on most RVs, it is the LED lights that uh, are the source of your lighting inside the RV. And those come from your 12 volt chassis. If it's, an, if it's a motor home or it comes from the 12 volt connection that you have on your towable. 12 volt power is not nearly as draining as 110 volt power. So we suggest that you rely on that as much. Most RVs now have a number of USB ports. Those are 12 volt ports. So we charge our cell phones, we charge our uh, eye, eye watches, we charge our computers, we charge all that with 12 volts. And that way, we don't even have to turn the inverter on, nor do we have to rely on 110 volt power. Of course, we're talking about boondocking primarily when you're not, uh, you don't have commercial power. If you're at a campground and you're plugged into a commercial power, it doesn't make any difference. You can leave your inverter on because that, that power really passes right through. But the biggest uh, detriment to many people when they boondock is they don't think they have enough battery power. Now, solar helps. It helps to have solar panels. We have 400 watts of solar on the roof of ours. That solar then uh, tops off our coach batteries. Our coach batteries are lithium ion batteries. We have two of them. Lithium ion batteries are the most efficient form of power management you can have in an RV today. They last longer, they charge faster, you can discharge them more fully, and they operate across all environments and all temperature ranges much more efficiently than the standard AGM lead acid batteries. So if you can use lithium, if you can get lithium, they're expensive, but they're so well worth it if you're gonna do a lot of boondocking. Now there are some small things that you can do that will help you with power management too. We like to use uh, a little uh, solar chargeable lantern. It's uh, called the Lily Lantern. And it's, uh, it's just, you actually, it's like a little balloon. You blow it up <laughs> and uh, you can hang it and uh, you can get several hours worth of a battery uh, charge with that little, little, uh, little, uh, uh, little lantern. I also uh, use a uh, small solar charger to charge our cell phones. Sometimes if we're on a hike uh, and we're out in the middle of nowhere, I can open up and my batteries are down. I always believe you gotta have your phones with you when you're hiking in case something happens we can charge our phones with this little uh, solar panel. That's just a little tiny thing that fits into a backpack real easily. One other really cool thing to get is LED motion detector lights. These things are awesome. They, they're they uh, run by a small little battery uh, and then it'll last for weeks and months. And it only comes on when you walk into that room. So we'll put a couple in the bathroom. I've got some uh, in some cabinet space that's dark when we want to get clothes out but uh, you pop them all over the RV and uh, if you walk into the room, the little LED lights will come off, you walk off, they'll go off. And it uh, doesn't touch any of your power needs from your main coach batteries, doesn't even take your 12 volt. LED little hockey puck lights, they're so cool and they're so cheap and they're so effective. So those are our RV tips to manage your power needs. And there are lots more pro tips for you RV users out there that Camping World has available for you. Check them all out. They'll make your RV lifestyle that much easier.